Let's say we're given the following common emitter configuration where VBE is equal to V gamma which is equal to 0 0.7 volts. So we have V gamma equal to VBE shown here. And we're also given the following parameters where beta is equal to 50, that's the current gain. RB is equal to 20 kilo ohms. So here RB is 20 kilo ohms. RC is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms and VCC our power supply is 10 volts what we want to do is find the input range VS so that the transistor remains in active mode so that's our problem so to remain in active mode we have to avoid the cutoff mode and the saturation mode so first, to avoid the cutoff mode, the input voltage must exceed the transistor threshold voltage. Thus, we have a lower bound that Vs is greater than V gamma, which is equal to 0 0.7 volts and this will be to avoid cutoff. Now to avoid saturation the collector current must be less than the available short circuit current. That is ISC is equal to VCC divided by the collector resistor RC. Substituting the values of 10 volts over 2.2 kilo ohms yields 4.545 milliamps. Now to ensure active mode operation Let's calculate the following for IC. We know that IC is equal to beta IB. Now IB is based on the following where this is the input voltage VS. So beta is times VS minus VBE. So in the numerator, this is just a voltage across the resistor RB. And we just divide by RB because now this is a form of Ohm's law. Now we substitute the values 50 for beta, Vs minus 0.7, all over 20 kilo ohms. Now we note that this IC, in order to remain in active mode, has to be less than ISC. And we found that ISC is 4.545 milliamps. Now using this expression here and here, we'll solve for the inequality for VS. So Vs is less than or equal to 0 0.7 plus 4.545 times 20 kilo ohms divided by 50 kilo ohms. And this is equal to 2.518 volts. So now we have this value 2.5818 volts to avoid saturation. Therefore our voltage range Vs must be between 0 0.7 and 2.518 volts. 
in order for this transistor to remain in active mode and in other words to avoid cutoff and to avoid saturation so let me highlight that result we have an input range for our VS to be between 0 0.7 and 2.518 volts.